Hey everybody, it's Mr. T back again with another episode of Time Out with T, where I try to help you figure it out. Nearing the end of summer, I'm going to miss these nights sitting by the pool, roasting some marshmallows, so we're starting to head back to school. There's one thing I want to talk about, and that's the marshmallow. This ooey gooey goodness that sticks to your fingers. When we talk about the human body, sorry about that. When we talk about the human body moving through space, we often think about it as it moving through three planes around three axes of rotation. Now what does that really mean? That's where the marshmallow comes from. So what we want you to do is get one marshmallow. We don't buy the small ones here apparently, but these are huge. Three toothpicks. Okay, and a marker. And with these three things here together, we're going to help you understand how the body moves through space. Take your marshmallow, pick a side, usually there's a two flat sides. Pick a side and draw a smiley face on it. Just like that. That's to help you orientate yourself with, not really the anatomical position, but understanding where the front of the body is. Now, this safety first, please don't stab yourself in attempting this. I've got to warn you. Take your first marshmallow. I want you to stab it through the front of the face all the way to the back. If you can get it through there, perfect, just like that. Okay, as you can see, now he's got a nose. Take your next toothpick and go straight from the top of the head, about the middle of the marshmallow, right down through, creating that kind of cross. Now here comes your third marshmallow. If you're good, you'll hit all. You'll hit the other two in the same spot. But you're basically going to go ear to ear, side of the marshmallow, in through. If you did it correctly, you got a marshmallow with three toothpicks running through it, just like that. Now, here's where it makes it all connect. If we look at the human body, and as it moves, like I said earlier, we've got the three axes. One of the axes is called the anterior-posterior axis that runs from the front to the back. The other one we call the longitudinal axis that goes from the head to the feet. And then the third one goes from ear to ear and as we rotate around that, and that is called your horizontal axis. So if we take each one of those axes, let's take the horizontal one for instance. The horizontal axis from ear to ear mimics those movements that we have at the hip, the shoulder, and these kinds of movements. And if I was to rotate this, and I turn it sideways and rotate it, okay, What's happening to the other two toothpicks? They're moving in what we call the sagittal plane. Okay, no matter what I do, when I rotate that horizontal axis toothpick, it goes through the horizontal, uh, sorry, the sagittal plane. If I was to take the, let's say, the anterior posterior axis, the one from nose to the back of the head, and I spun that. Okay, if I turn it sideways, you're seeing it this way, but from the, from the front, Okay, these two other two toothpicks are now moving in what we call the frontal or coronal axis of movement and as they spin that way. Now, if we last of a lot, lot least, if we go from head to toe and we start to spin this axis of rotation, oh, he's upside down, this axis of rotation doesn't matter. Okay, the other two now move in what we call the transverse axis. And this mimics, we can say, three different types of movements. If I was a figure skater spinning and I spun on the longitudinal or polar axis, my other two now spin, or my other two rotate along that perpendicular to that axis in the transverse plane. If I grab from nose to back, remember that that's called the anterior-posterior from front to back, and I spun that like this, that could mimic something like, hmm, let's say a cartwheel. And the last one, if I was to take the horizontal axis and spin it, okay, like such, that would mimic something, let's say, like a front flip. So all three of those together will help you not only understand the marshmallow, but understand how the body moves ar around its axes in planes of movement. So I better get back. Summer's coming to an end. It's time to roast another marshmallow. And remember, if you can't see the big picture, you'll never understand the small one. So take care, have fun, enjoy the rest of your summer. I'm going to go roast this big one right here.